uh, if you do it this way, um, before you save, uh, you share the preset on uh, Exchange. Uh, users don't need to import the cab. They don't need to have the cab. They got the cab in the tone match block in the XFX, and it's it's beautiful. Hi. Um, I'm trying something here. I'm trying to free up some uh, user um, user slots in the cab. We got 50, and uh, it doesn't seem like we're uh, gonna get uh, more room for IRs in the XFX2. We got 50, so um, 50 user slots. So mm, I'm gonna free up some space and I'm gonna make this into a tone match block in the XFX. This is the cabinet. It's panned center and it sounds like this. <laughs> But I want to free up some space in the user IRs in the XFX. So this is the way I do it. This is my chain. Yeah. And I want to split the signal here. Like this. And one more time. Up there. Here I want to place a synth. So I'm gonna use the let me see enter here um, that's the first I'm not gonna use this one not this one but this one I'm gonna use v3 page one this is set normally at um, something like uh, off. I want to put it in the sign, sign sweep, and it sounds like this. Whoops. <laughs> Not good. Yeah. And then I want to use the free frequency in LFO. Then it sounds like this. This is the signal that's going to go through the cab and here we need to split the signal one down and up there and here I'm going to place a tone match block. I'm going to edit here. I set it on row 3 set the average time to P cold and I up the volume by 3 dB. So let's see, I'll mute the amp, I'll lower the volume, I'll start the synth. Go into the tone match block and I press X. And wait until it's settled. There, it's settled. I press X. Then I go out. Mute the cab. Go into the tone match. Press Y. It's just a straight line. So let's see. I press Y, then I press Enter. And there's the EQ curve of my cabinet. Okay, let's see. Now I just want to move the tone match block one up. So I'll go move up. Reconnect. 
I'll try the cab. <laughs> Try the tone There is done. Now I can remove cab. I can place this to none and this to none and here's my chain it's using a bit less CPU this way and this way I could uh, use the slot uh, in the cab lock for something else now I just need to save my preset there it's done Okay, but I almost forgot to mention that uh, we can, of course, not share the own hammers uh, and the red wires. Uh, this is a process uh, we can use, uh, take advantage of if we make our own impulse re response but we can not use the own ham hammers and the red wires which is a shame but um, that's the law <laughs>